Australian Surf Life Saving Championships, the Taplin Relay underway. Now, this is one of the real premier events. This is a true show of strength from the surf clubs competing that have made the final. And uh, it's one that competitors love to compete in. Reen Corbett's joined us in the commentary box, not competing today. Had a pretty rough day at the office yesterday, knocked about, bruised, battered. And the first time in many, many years, Reen, you haven't been uh, in the surf. So thanks for giving us your time. Thank you. Hard sitting up here, not just watching. <laughs> Yes, it is. But this is one of the events in your club, North Furley's competing here in this event at the moment. One of the clubs that, uh, one of the events that clubs love to win. That's right. I mean, you've got a lot of strong clubs out there. It's a real prestige event, the Taplin Relay. And I mean, it really brings Team Morale together. Guys get out there and they really love to win it for the, their team, their club. Yeah, they sure do. And there's a lot of urging going on, isn't there? I mean, you're on the water's edge and you're urging each member on. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you've got you've got the top competitors all around Australia in each team. I mean, there's some very strong teams out there with Cronulla, Northcliffe, Service Paradise, Swansea, Belmont, Maroochydore. They're all very top top class competitors. Well, Reid, you tackled this surf yesterday, and we've talked so many times how hard it is to dive down, grab the bottom when you're swimming, and try and stay in contact with uh, with the alley that you've chosen to go out. Just how tough is it? Uh, it's very tough, especially in conditions like this. Today, I mean, there's a lot of water out there, but that back bank, that back bank is very shallow, and um, when the waves break there, it's very heavy, and there's a lot of damage being done all weekend. Yeah, well, I mean, the other thing we've talked about is the length of the break, and there's a shot you can just see how far you've got to go. You just relentlessly just keep getting pounded. That's right. It takes just so long to get out there. When you get pounded, you just get knocked back each time. The wind just gets knocked right out of you. You've got no energy. You just have to just put your head down and go for it and just try to get through and wait for a break. But um, you really do have to go down and grab the bottom. Well, you're watching the Cronulla competitor there as he's battling with the white water. This is the open taplin relay. This is the final defending champion, Surfers Paradise. And uh, this is one that all the clubs want to win. It's one that they get very proud about. Now, just while we're waiting for the swimmers to battle their way through this white water, what actually happened to you yesterday? We've heard stories that you've had broken ribs and that you were coughing blood and all sorts of stuff. Uh, yeah, well, there's nothing broken on the outside. May I have to have tests tomorrow to determine if there's any problems internally, but um, just basically bruised ribs, um, jarred back and, and cork thighs. <laughs> Yeah, you were pretty well batted around, and I know how tough you are. I mean, it's uh, it's a pretty hard decision, so well, I've got to stand down, but it's one you had to make. Yeah, it is. I mean, in the long run, it's going to be better, and I physically couldn't get out there today and do anything. I can't stretch my arms out to paddle because of my ribs, but, um, you know, I just have to sit up here and watch. One thing, though, and I think it's been uh, grossly uh, overstated by the press today, there was no no way that the women were forced to compete yesterday. I mean, you had the choice whether you wanted to compete or not. I, I think because it's Australian title, I mean, everyone wants to go out there and compete. It's one carnival in the year that you're not going to pull out of because it really is very important. So you really just have to get out there and have a go and, and just try your hardest, even when the surf is huge and, and you get petrified. You, you know, you, you really feel you have to go out there. Well, petrified, look at this, coming down on the heads of the swimmers. And I hope that clears that controversy up because... Uh, Pretty nasty stuff when you're saying that people are demanding they go on the water. But look at this, just standing up on the bank. Now, you've heard Queen Reen, as I call it. I only say it once to her because she gets embarrassed. But when you see them standing up on that bank like that, the power when it hits is incredible, isn't it? Yeah, there's a lot of power in those waves. I mean, you can see that breaking there, and there's a lot of that, that view under that that would just, like, work you so bad. But, um, I mean, it's just you just got to get out there and just go down and hold on to the bottom and just try to work your way through it. We saw a number of competitors yesterday and already one paddler today got totally lost when they got out. They had no idea where they were. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, you have no idea where you are. You lose all um, total cut the direction. You don't know where you are. So um, you really have to just, first of all, get your head out of the water and then determine where you are. All right, well, let's go now to Nicole and we'll bring you up to date with the caps. I can see a Cronulla cap there that's very, very prominent. In fact, uh, is it two? We've actually got three Cronulla teams in this final, Cronulla A, B and C. They haven't won this championship in the history of it running. So it looks like it's Adam Weir from Cronulla B out in front and it, it looks like Tannen Good out there as well. So Cronulla's leading this very well. For those that don't understand how this works, there's two swimming legs, 
two ski legs and two board legs. So two swimmers, two ski paddlers and two board paddlers. And that's the show of strength from the club. This is why it's so hotly contested because it's, uh, it really is the most powerful club that can have the depth to do this. And very much so. There's a lot of prestige in this and all the clubs are out to win it. But it certainly shows the strength once again from that uh, Sutherland Shire with, uh, having three Cronulla teams. So that's six competitors in each event. Reem, we've said so many times over the weekend that from behind somebody can climb on a wave as we see the swells there looking down and you see there's the bank and look at the sand that's been swirled around and sucked up at the top. Yes, one on. Oh, it takes a drop nicely and look at that just flung around like a rag doll in that white water. Head pops up and it's a Cronulla cap too. That's Tannen Good from Cronulla. Tannen Good. He got work truly and good. Wow. Just flung around but came up and uh, I mean you're a great body surfer I mean when you get into that situation you're inside I mean you must be desperate for air sometimes in this sort of surf you have to be superman to hold one of these waves I mean nobody is going to hold a body wave that slams down that hard but um, when you do eventually pull over a wave and if it is a good wave to take you through you really have to hold your breath and just put your head down because once you put your head up and take your breath you just slip right off the back of it in this sort of surf I mean you've got to keep going because you don't know where everybody else is and if you get a good wave from behind you don't know you could pass 10 maybe 15 competitors that's right. I mean, you could watch here, the per last person that comes out, they could tag their next guy and, and everyone in front gets hammered and, and you could just sneak through it and the, the, reverse, the, the order is just totally reversed. But in these conditions, you just have to be really alert and aware and know what's going on. Well, you can see body surfers now as they make their way in to uh, affect the tag and keep the tap on relay going. That's uh, a North Cliff cap, is it? I'd say that would down. be Luke Richman of Northcliffe, yeah. Okay, so surfing nicely as he makes his way into the beach now. And as we said, how long this break is. I mean, if you can get away from out the back and hold it, wow, don't you make up some territory. Right, Cronulla, up and running. There's Adam Weir of Cronulla. He's a great swimmer. He'll be tagging the next guy to go out. That competitor is Duffy from Cronulla B. So there's some great competitors that they're tagging onto. Um, the likes of Tan and Good tagging onto Daniel McClellan, World Surf Swim Champion. And Mark Williams is coming out for Northcliffe, being tagged by Richmond. All right, so... ...and see who's... Uh, how close. And it's all effort now. And they'll be urging each other on. They want every ounce of energy expended here. Because this is for pride of club. This is, this is what it's about. There's the tag. In goes the next swimmer. Have a look. They've elected to go straight out. They're not worrying about the drag at the moment. There's Jonathan Crow to tag Phil Clayton. Phil's very good in these conditions. It's like Tan and Good coming around for fourth for Cronulla. So Cronulla in two of the top four positions. Tan and Good coming around. Clayton goes in for North Wollongong. Well, that's not a bad uh, setup, is it? A uh, very good setup. I'd be very happy with a team like that. And Daniel McClellan going in for Cronulla. Wow, we're seeing some stars. Yeah, we've got all the top surf swimmers here. I mean, as I said before, they all want to represent their club and do well in the Taplin Relay. But we've got Mark Williams out there in front, um, just powering away, head, head down. He wants, he's fired up, wants to go well this weekend. All right, we'll take a break, come back. Tap and relay, a long way to go yet. Who's going to win? Could Cronulla be the, the first-time winners of this event for that club? This week on A Current Affair, slave labour in the suburbs. On him. Very much so. Phil Clayton from North Wollongong is in second place. It looks like Cronulla B is in third place. And from Cronulla B, that looks like um, competitor Duffy, yeah. So Trent Duffy. So they're going quite well. They're catching him. He did put a huge lead in, though, Mark Williams, going out of the break. break. Reen, he actually, like, just increased his lead by a mile. Yeah, Mark really put his head down and went for it there. But um, coming in, he got hit by that wave. And, you know, this guy here on this wave, Daniel McClellan, he's... Oh, lucky just pulled off that, um, but um, he would have been able to pull over that. It would have taken him right through the beach. It was a nice spilling wave. Some of the waves are just fattening up in between the sandbanks here. Like, there they are standing up out the back, but where they are there is quite a hole. It's a bit of a gutter, and you can get caught. Now, look from way outside. Look at this, look at this, look oh, at this. Daniel McClellan. Daniel McClellan. You think he can't body surf Buffy? And I'll tell you what, he's got something to prove, this, this uh, surf nationals. He was uh, kept off the Australian team, and he's really out there to prove himself. Well, a great bit of body surfing. So now it opens up. They backstroke round, copying uh, Nicole here. 
having a look where the waves are coming from. Yeah, it's a pretty easy way to look where the waves are. And Daniel, Daniel. Is, is, oh, that's pretty uncharacteristic for Daniel missing a wave, but uh, pretty hard one. There, yeah, yeah, pretty hard one to catch. But that hole is pretty deep, isn't it? So like a real deep gutter. It is. There's a hole out there. There's holes everywhere, gutters everywhere. You just got to really look where to go to begin with. But um, the, the conditions out there are changing every minute. But there we go. Phil Clayton and Daniel McClellan both coming down together. So Phil Clayton wearing the goggles comes down. And Maruchidor coming from the back. Someone from Maruchidor out the back will pick that up. That This is Phil Clayton though with the goggles on and he's held this beautiful bit of surfing. Have a look at this one. Down they come. Wooshka straight in the middle. Will he be seen? Washing around, waiting for the head. He's okay, back on the beach. So Clayton now from North Wollongong starts to stride out. They've come up the beach a bit, so there's a fair bit of a run on. Now they start to pour out for the tag. And Mark Williams is hanging there in third. They're all pretty close so far. I mean, going out in the ski, anything can happen with these guys. So they've just got to be very careful. So North Wollongong, Cronulla. Great bit of body surfing from McClellan. He's had a lot of illness. He's been off, he's, uh, off the pace, but unfortunately, he's coming on a tour and he was pretty bitter, bitter about it too. All right, now they go on to the craft. Surfers Paradise have just run up into fourth there. Um, their swimmer there is just sprinting up. And they are, of course, we're in the defending champions. Yeah, they are. I mean, today there's a lot of great teams out there, a lot of um, defending champions from past years, so there's a lot of teams out there with things to prove. May I say now that uh, our spotter up here, Rob Nelson, is paddling out there for Cronulla, so he's doing a great job there for Cronulla. Yeah, Rob's been uh, he's doing a great job because he's an administrator with the Australian Surf Life Saving, and he's been a tremendous help to us over two days. Suddenly took the headset off, run down, put the cap on, he's in the water. So there you go. Even an administrator will have a go. And he's wearing the Cronulla colours. Wave now sucks up on the bank. Smash, bam. That's how hard they hit you. Drive you back. One off the ski. That's no good. You lose a lot of ground. That's a North Wollongong competitor. So once you come off like that, you've got to get your momentum going again. That's right. I mean, those three guys were exactly together. They were all in line. And that wave hitting the, the guy from um, the guy that got out in front from Cronulla, he was just in the better position. Riding up over the white water there. That's Rob Nelson doing a great job for Cronulla. He's just hit. He's lost his momentum. He's waiting for this wave to come through. It's a pretty hard wave to negotiate. Right, but well, while they're negotiating in the break, we've got Mark Rayburn out behind that break. And look at Rob Nelson. He's just got barrel backwards there. Does a belly roll over. Look at these sets. Now, Mark Rayburn, you're out to sea, and you can see from behind these big sets. I tell you what, from front on, they are very big. Darrell, they are just as big out here, mate. There is a, some monster sets coming. And what's happening? The wind's blowing offshore, so there's spray coming at us. That spray's also going to hit these guys as they're going back in. But very, very big, sw big swells coming through at the moment. Rob Nelson, got to work very, very hard. Hit them with a lot of power, and there's plenty coming. Well, Mark, there's about a set of four or five, and when you look down from the pitches from the chopper, it's quite unbelievable how much... Uh, boisterous waters underneath these guys it's just sucking them back as we watch now smashing down all over the skis one's elected to get off because they're so easy to break rolling off all over the place here they might be sometime getting to you i think the other thing that's happening too daryl is this tide's going out and as the tide goes out that bank gets shallower and it gets nastier and nastier and nastier and this is all about staying on your ski now it looks as though the, the, the set has gone nelson is jeff he sneaks over this bump I can't see his ski yet. He's hit again. But if he can pop over this and get in clear water, he can make a big break on them. He's well, in clear water now. Well, Surface Paradise looked to get the better of all of this. They came in fourth onto this leg, and they were struggling a bit, the defending champions. But all of a sudden, the cap, there it is, the famous cap of Surface Paradise, and they've got the break. They're coming at you now. Can, can you pick him up from where you are? No, I can't, because there's a monster between him and me, and I think it's about the... No, someone's just got out. That looks like it. Yeah, it's a... It's Peter just, Dorries out there, Mark. Peter Dorries from Surface. I just can't see him where I am now. If Peter's out, he's turning to... No, that's... Yeah, Peter Dorries it is. First paddler on the ski. We'll, he'll tag the Trevor, next paddler. But Peter is out with about a 15-metre gap on the rest of the field and working very, very hard. If he can get around this can and get first crack at these runs and pick it up and go, it'll be a very, very big lead to Surface. 
Well, they went in the water fourth on the beach, so that's been a remarkable recovery. As Reen Corbett, who's sitting in the commentary box, said, you've only got to get smacked and uh, straight away your leads whittle away. That's right. I mean, the guys that went in last then were probably thanking their lucky stars because um, they actually didn't have to put up with those sets. But um, as we see, the leads changed already. There's about five paddlers chasing Peter Dorries. Mark Rayburn out there. Uh, Allura second, two Cronullas, Rob Nelson in fourth, North Wollongong in fifth. Now all looking over their shoulders. There is a swell coming. I don't think second, third, fourth will get it, but I reckon surface will. Northcliffe going around in, in sixth. Peter Dorries on it, Daryl, and it's a, the perfect wave for him. It's not a big one, holdable. Rest of the field, there's nothing coming from them but little bumps. So this will enable Surface to go away to tag into Trevor. Well done, Mark. Well, there he goes there. Peter Dorries is riding this beautifully. Came down a big green face. It was like a big cathedral. He sat down inside it there. White water all around him. But look how quickly Rena dissipates. Once it gets off that bank, it really does. It, it just sort of dissipates to, to half its size. Yeah, I mean, once it breaks, it's sort of, that's a lot safer, but you just don't want to be under it when it breaks on top of you, that's for sure. He did a nice job right, right, right in the face of that one. Yeah, I don't think I'd like to take off on one of those monsters on the ski, but Peter did a great job there, and the, the guys are on the next wave too. Now, of course, he's going to hand over to Trevor Hendy, so it's not a bad backup, is it? Yeah, Trevor's paddling great at the moment. I mean, if he gets a good break, he'll definitely put the, the lead in for surface, but, um, you know, they just don't want to get a set like the, the front guys got before. OK, Dory's out of the water now and running as hard as he possibly can. He knows that he's building a lead here. Trevor Hendy's the one to follow him. The defending champs have hit back where it matters most. They let him go for a while. They turn fourth, used up the time in the surf. Dory's now knows how important it is to keep the pressure on. Yeah, he's running fast. I mean, any, any second really counts out in the surf like that whether he can get out. So these, the run here in between really matters if they can get keep their lead. It looks like uh, Cronulla A, uh, sorry, Cronulla B with Schumacher is in second place and Allura Thompson is in third place. Trevor Hendy. Trevor Hendy, one of the biggest names ever in surf life saving. The ultimate winner of medals and he'll build on that total, I'm sure, throughout the day. He might be about to do that in this event now. There's the man. He's absolutely stepped out of the surf for a while. He's concentrated on the kayaks, but gee, it's good to see him in action. That's right, I mean, Trevor's a great competitor, but a lot of natural talent, so I mean, when he stepped away and concentrated on kayaking, you knew that he was going to come back and be a great ski paddler, and I think he proved that at our state titles with just reading the field, although he didn't actually take out the gold medal, he outclassed and outpaddled the whole field. See how he attacks the wave, the head down, sort of butts his way through it. Yeah, it's, it's a, a distinctive style from him and Clint Robinson. They, they just are so much, uh, I guess, classier than the rest of the field. Well, Allura, the big, uh, the big improvers, will go to Mark Rayburn out to see when Trevor gets a little further out there through this break. He's doing a pretty good job at the moment as he battles his way. Now, there's the lineup. You see, he's almost out. If he gets over this green water here, I reckon he has. He's had a good look around him. He knows exactly where they are. He's in green water. Mark Rayburn, can you pick Trevor up yet? Trevor uh, is in the perfect spot, Darrell. He's out in clean water. Last year, he told me what a, what a surf ski is like compared to a kayak. It's like paddling, using a paddle pop stick to paddle an ocean liner. That's the difference. Now, he's come up a season of kayaks onto a surf ski, having fun and doing it very, very well. Trev's got the cheeks puffing, working very, very hard. Quick sneaky over his shoulder to see where the rest of the field is, but it's hammer and tongs for Trevor now. The taplin to a surf club is everything. The Ironman to the public, taplin to the clubs. Yeah, I talked about that, Mark. I said it's the prestige event because it shows the club's depth. Uh, these guys had three teams coming out of the state championships. They didn't make three in the final, but this is their dream team. It's their number one team. Trevor... Daryl, if he can get onto this monster that he's coming at, he will, they will take this away to go into two very, very strong board battles. I reckon he will. Over to you. OK, here he comes now. Trevor Hendy, the man of surf. He loves a wave. Waves don't worry, this guy. Down the face with, look at this surface paradise. They're going to put him back to back with gold medals because this has been a superb performance. Now he's got to work. Now he drives it. Oh, he's just brilliant. You can see his class just riding those waves. You can just tell it, can't you, Reen? Yeah, he's actually gone side on them, but he might be actually, he just held it. <laughs> That's very hard to do. Look at the way he changed direction there now. He used the face of the wave to get some speed and then changed direction. Yeah, it looked like he was actually going to go sideways and it's very hard to straighten up after that, but um, no, he did a great job. Granola pulled off the back of that one. It was a real dippy one on the bank, but look at this, surface paradise. They're going to take out the one the clubs love to win. Trevor Hendy now puts the final paddle into the beach. 
And this is going to be back-to-back -back gold medals. Out, though, the battle for second and third is... Oh, no, we've got the fourth leg to go. I'm getting too carried away. Here's another leg to go. What am I saying? With a leg... But with a lead like this, it'll be hard to see him get beaten. Now, look at the effort. Look at the effort of Hendy. Look at it now. Every muscle's training. Look at the determination. Comes round the corner. Touch the body in and now sprints. Going as hard as he can. Crowd behind him and there's the tap. And he's tapping onto Jay Gilbert. So not a bad tap to go onto for the board paddle. Right, now let's pick up the battle for second, third and fourth because it's been really on. Allura with the big improvers. Cronulla B was hanging in there. And North Wollongong, I'm not sure where they are. Is that the North Wollongong cap there? I think it might be. Okay, let's have a look. Allura definitely on the beach. They're up and running at the moment. So it's Cronulla with them. And we say that's still the B team, I would think. Northcliffe have now come into calculations. Northcliffe. So that's Northcliffe. Cronulla B have a stumble. Now Allura put the pace down. They go hard. North Wollongong. They're back a place now. They've dropped back a little bit. But you can see the effort coming in from everyone. Yeah, you really have to put in the sprint. And there's other Cronulla coming in. So, I mean, they have a lot of really strong set, strong um, guys in this, this race. He's going up in the air if you don't get the break. Now, Jay Gilbert, good competitor. Yeah, he's a great paddler. He's been around for a long time, a lot of experience. He, he should um, relish these conditions. A lot of the, the surface guys that are very good paddlers, paddlers like the big surf. So um, as long as he gets a fairly clean break, he should be out. All right, they're on the boards and they're on the final leg. There's two rounds of each of the legs. It's the one the clubs want to win. Back shortly. <laughs> White water, it just swirled around and smashed on him. Granola competitor, there's Jay Gilbert. He has just been getting pounded. He has, and the rest of the teams behind him have come right up now. And I mean, it's anyone's race. Everyone's sort of in the same position there. Green, that last wave, there was about seven, eight foot of white water. That's as big as I've seen for uh, some time this morning. Uh, yeah, there was a few of those yesterday. There's a few out there this morning, but um, if you get under there, it really is a lot of water there. It's very powerful. We've explained to people how tired you get when you're rolling over, when you're grabbing your board, when you've got to roll back on again. It just saps your energy. Yeah, constantly when you're rolling and you're sitting up on your board, just rolling your board just takes it right out of your shoulders and it just really does take the energy out of you. And, and once you do get on your board and you get a break, you don't have the energy to paddle fast and, and get through so sometimes you know you, you really have to just you know just grin and bear it and just keep on rolling and of course if you're trailing somebody and you've seen them do that then that yeah well i mean people that can be leaning by mile like jay gilbert there he's he's be quite tired now whereas the guys that just jumped in the water and, and missed that set will be quite fresh and, and and would have more coming home well jay would have actually seen his sister carly yesterday lead into the second semi-final of that iron woman and she just got hammered for about seven or eight minutes and ended up coming seventh the same things happened to him again allura moving into second and catching him mark rayburn out to sea you know, it looks to me like it's a lure in front and North Cliff in two. I mean, that's the way it appears to me. I can't see Jay Gilbert. I think he's, he's, uh, he's way back. Mate, he got pounded. Let me tell you, he got pounded with a lot. I reckon he's in about eighth or ninth. He did. He got absolutely belted. He's lying on his stomach paddling, and it's Allura and Northcliffe. Brent Payne from Northcliffe, son of Ronnie Payne, former Australian board champion. They're on waves. Have a look at this. Are they on waves? This was at the can, basically. They turned around, and four are on, all hanging onto the straps now, disappearing. They get spat out the front of the wave here. We've really got a race on our hands. Surfers Paradise were in such a commanding position, all of a sudden have disappeared. We're going to really have a look at the caps as they come out. Now, the wave's going to double up. There's a Maroubra cap. So we've got Maroubra, we've got Northcliffe, we've got Allura, and I think Cronulla. Surface Paradise have disappeared. Wouldn't Trevor Hendy be so dirty? I mean, he had that lead build. He tried so hard for him. I don't think so much dirty because I, mean, I think Trevor can understand oh, so it happens. All, yeah, I think it happens all the time. I mean, we could see from up here what the waves were coming and what Jay had to face. So I think everyone can understand. Oh yeah, he got pounded. Don't get me wrong. He wouldn't be uh, he wouldn't be dirty on Jay's effort. He'd be just dirty on that elite. Really going in, Cronulla. Look at the face. Look at the muscles. All tense. Northcliffe come around. There's the tag. Nothing in this now as they go in. Allura, Northcliffe, Cronulla. Remember, Cronulla have never won this. Two teams they've got in at the moment. It's like Craig Hackett out there for Northcliffe as well. But interestingly enough, uh, Darren Schott it was was a South Sydney first grader, and that looks like Jay Gilbert coming in now. Now look at that. They were in front by honestly. 
I reckon uh, the way oh the wave here look out the back look at that wave standing up on the bank I don't I don't know who it is but it'll right he won't forget lost the board no he's still hanging on still hanging on to that board what a ride that was there he is there that was a ride on the wild side Chugan competitor might be uh, Foister right now Surface Paradise out. He would just be saying, what's happened? I ran into the water fourth. All of a sudden, we're out of contention. Can can the role now be reversed? Can they get hit and maybe Surface catch, catch up? That's exactly what I think is going to happen because these guys that are at the first three teams are out in front. Um, the, the next three teams behind them have actually caught them. So um, they might, if they try now to get out, there is a bit of a break, but that lull doesn't last very long. There's another set coming out the back. Do you ever sit on break how much time you've got it's difficult to do that because it's sometimes so inconsistent i mean sometimes you can say there's three waves in a set and then a bit of a lull but usually like today it's very un inconsistent looks like reese jury leading leading it out there for cronulla looks like a cronulla competitor out there well there's so many competitors involved here we don't want to call the wrong name but it is reese jury i think for cronulla too uh as he comes out we'll go at the mark rayburn very shortly because he'll get a good sight of them from where he is this is the last one. If he can punch his way through that, he's done that. Mark, you should be able to pick him up now. Daryl Cronulla in one. Uh, there's a big pack of them in two. There doesn't look to be too much in the way of swell coming at them. So if it is Reese Drury, I can't see from where I am, but they will potentially go away from this if he can get around cleanly and get on the waves. Craig Hackett just hit in close, knocked him off his board. Looks like it might be Allura in two. Mark, if you can see their faces as they come past, because so many competitors involved here, we're getting a little bit confused who's who, so you can help us from out there. Daryl, let me tell you what I can hear and, and see from out here. I can hear the sound of the swells, and I can also hear the crowd on the beach yelling as they're doing the run leg. So that's an indication to clubby land of just what's at stake in this. That is Reese Drury from Cronulla. He would be, I don't know whether he's in their, their number one, their number two, or their number three, but let me tell you, he is pumped and flying. Mark, they've never won this event, and it's such a strong club, they've never won the Taplin. Darrell, that's because the, the, the very strong clubs, the Surface, the Southports, the, all of those clubs have had the depth that Cronulla didn't have across all six uh, competitors, but they are proving in a class field like this that they certainly have now, and with three teams in it, an unbelievable effort. Second, third and fourth coming at you now. Allura second, Cronulla uh, third. Uh, can't quite pick that up in fourth, but Craig Hackett must have got belted in close. Allura in second. There is a swell coming. I think if Reese Drury can get on it, he's on a run now, but I reckon he'll get the next one. If the Allura fella doesn't get the run that's just going near, near me, uh, Cronulla will take this out to the roar of the crowd. Well done, Mark. We'll pick it up as he gets into the drop zone, but Cronulla could pick up two medals out of this. That would be absolutely unbelievable. Now, here's the wave he wants. A little one inside. There's one outside for the others. He can't afford to miss it. He's pushing, 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 and he's come off the top. Now this could change here because have a look at this behind him. One, two, and three are on. Down the face they came on the knees. Now they've gone to the bellies and hold on. Well, can you believe it? He missed the one. He had had to get, I've often said, Reen, if there's a wave there, you've got to try and get the first one. Yeah, you really do have to. I mean, Reese really tried hard there, but it just sort of filled up for him, which is a bit of a change today. But, um, you know, just going to come down to the best runner here. Now, watch this. This is going to be a run to the beach. All four teams. Granola, two of them there. Remember, they've never won this. Allura are also there. This is the same stretch of beach, I remind you. So how strong is that? Maruba is there, which is not that far away. Now, look at the team members urging them on. They come off. One's up and running. Drury's running. Now it's a run to the flag. Here they go now. They'll wade. This is an art of itself to get your legs clear. Now, look at this. You can't push it so. Now, the can they come? And have a look at this. It might be Maruba. 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 Granada. Granada's never won it. Maruba. Maruba get it. Oh, what a win for Maruba. They came from nowhere. Granada got second. Allura got third. And they'll go up here. That's the one they wanted to win. And Maruba come from nowhere. Oh, boy, oh, boy, what a race. Darren Shot it was. The first grade footballer from South Sydney just powered his way for the Maroubra Club. And there it is written all over their faces. Let's read. Look at this. Look at the concentration here. Yeah, I mean, after that long race and what happened, the lead changes, it came down to a sprint of four and he just had this, the power and the speed there. 
unbelievable, wasn't it? Yeah, the footballer, he'd be used to using plenty of energy up in the run, but look at the turn. You've been caught in that situation close before. That's for sure. I mean, he would have the determination like anything else before because he's not just doing it for himself, he's doing it for his club. So, yeah, he looks very pleased there, his teammates all around him. Well, Cronulla don't win it, they do get a medal, so it's eluded them once again. Oh boy, terrific event, it takes some time to get through, but it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And there they are, the Maroubra boys, they've come in first, Cronulla A was second, Allura third. Great.